Hello guys, welcome back. I am Yusuf Shakil and you are watching CSS Tutorials. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about cascading style sheets or CSS. So let's get started. We use CSS to style our web page. So our web page consists of HTML document and we style the HTML document using CSS. Now in order to learn CSS, we'll need few softwares. So we'll need a text editor and a web browser. For text editor, you can use Sublime Text, Notepad++, Atom, Brackets, Coda, TextMate, etc. We can also use IDE or Integrated Development Environment for HTML and CSS. Two such IDEs are Eclipse and NetBeans. Both are free. And for web browser, we'll need either Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, Edge, etc. In this tutorial series, I'll be using brackets to write HTML and CSS, and I'll be using Chrome to check the output. Now, in order to understand CSS, it is assumed that you have some basic knowledge of HTML. If you want to watch the HTML tutorial videos, the link will be in the description or you can go to my website dyclassroom.com and you will find the HTML tutorial. I'll give the link in the video description. So please check that out. Now, if you don't want to install any software but want to try out HTML and CSS, then you can use the HTML editor on my website dyclassroom.com. I'll give the link of this editor in the description, so please check that out. Now in this HTML editor, you can write your HTML code, you can write the CSS and JavaScript. Let's say we have a header h1 and we have set the content to hello world. And now if you want to see the output, we click on this run button and we get the output hello world. Now if you want to style the content of this header h1 and let's say we want to change the color of this hello world text to blue then we'll write the CSS inside the CSS editor and we'll set color to blue. And now if we hit the run button we'll get the output hello world and its color is set to blue. Now similarly we can change the font size we can change the color to some other value or we can even add background color etc. So you can use this HTML editor to quickly try out your HTML and CSS. But I will recommend you to download any one of the text editor on your machine and practice what we are going to learn in this tutorial series. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this introduction to CSS tutorial video. You will find the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the description. And all the code that we are going to write in this tutorial series, I will put them in my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description, so feel free to check that out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to see you guys again in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.